In this tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly and easily make a domino run that follows a curve. The only problem with this method is that the dominoes are slightly deformed to fit the curve. Change the view from perspective to orthogonal. Change the view to the top view. Click the eye icon to hide the cube. Add curve bezier. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan down shift and mouse wheel. Go into edit mode. Select the point at the beginning of the curve. Drag on the tip of the red arrow to move it two grid squares to the left of centre. Select the point at the end of the curve and drag on the tip of the red arrow to move it two grid squares to the right of centre. Select a handle, press G to grab and move that four grid squares up. Select the other handle, press G to grab and move that so it's four grid squares up. Drag to make the properties window wider. Click the object data button for the curve. Scrolling down, I'm going to change the preview resolution and that will automatically change the curves resolution. I'm going to double it to 24 and that gives us a nice smooth curve. And in the outliner window, I'm going to unhide the cube. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Go into object mode. Press S to scale followed by 8 and enter. Pan down, shift and mouse wheel. In the outliner window, select the cube, click the object button. The X scale is the most important. It determines how many dominoes are wrapped around the curve. I'm going to set the X scale to 0.2, the Y scale to 0.6, and the Z scale to 1.2, and enter. And in the object menu, apply scale. Click the Modifiers button, click the Add Modifier button, add an Array modifier, and change Fixed Count to Fit Curve. Select the Bezier Curve, Add Modifier Curve, scroll down and set Object to the Bezier Curve, set the X Relative Offset to 4 and Enter. If you want the dominoes to go right to the end of the curve, change fit curve back to fixed count and experiment with the count. I found 41 dominoes went right to the end of the curve. To separate the dominoes, first apply the array modifier, then apply the curve modifier, go into edit mode, mesh vertices separate by loose parts, go back into object mode, object Transform Origin to Geometry. To set up the physics for the dominoes, scroll down and open up the Rigid Body Tools panel. Click the Add Active button. Click the Change Shape button. And now we hit the problem with this method. Normally for a domino, I'd set the shape to box. But because the Curve modifier is a Deform modifier, all the dominoes have been deformed, the greater the curve, the greater the deformation, and they are no longer cuboid. Setting the shape to box actually causes problems, so I'm going to have to set it to convex hull. Add Mesh Plane. Press S to scale, followed by 18, and Enter. Drag on the tip of the green arrow and press 9, and Enter. Set the physics for the plane to passive. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view to see the underside of the plane. Click the object button. Set the Z location of the plane to minus one. And click the left arrow to nudge the plane down until you just can't see the dominoes from underneath. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the first domino and press R to rotate, followed by X for the X axis to tilt the first domino. Use the tip of the green arrow to move it forward slightly and click play. That will start the domino run. With the length of this run, it will take more than 250 frames to complete the run. 
So I'm going to set the total length of the animation to 350 frames. And when I do that, I must click the Scene button, scroll down, open up the Rigid Body Cache panel, and set the number of frames there to 350. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download and look at at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.